So after hours line, anytime you want, that is always available to you. Uh, whether you're not able to get to us during the show, whether you think of something later, you're a podcast listener and can't call live, uh, you can use that line. It is 216-986-8903. I got the name for the show, for the old people dating show. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Bachelor. Yeah, I like Okay, yeah, Bachelor. Okay, one. Bachelor. <laughs> okay, Bachelor. Um, before we get out of here, about a half an hour from now, I'm going to have three more keys to give three of you to qualify you for what we were just talking about. You know, it's hard to find a place to live. We will give you a spot rent-free for a year. You can live in a two-bath, two-bed uh, suite at the Terminal Tower Residences. Oh. oh, if only Mary Santora could win this. That would be wonderful. AlanCockshow.com. Use the contest page if you want the details on it. Uh, but I will have uh, 50 bucks to Barley House for you from the jump, and then we'll qualify for the grand prize. Living down there, rent-free. For one year. Dr. Ryan Berglund returns to the show tomorrow for the first installment of Is It Red in 2020? We haven't seen him since the Alan Cox Show 10th anniversary special. That was right before the holiday break. He was kind enough to come by. And um, so he'll be in here tomorrow. He's a urologist from the Cleveland Clinic. If you're new to the show, he comes by every so often and answers questions of a sensitive nature, (laughs) primarily for guys who've got some weird things going on down there. And so if you want to get a question into him, you can certainly email it to me. A lot of people will email me and say, uh, please keep my name out of this. So on condition of anonymity, that's fine. I don't n- need to know what your name is. We need your first, last name, and social security number. I need all that. Mother's maiden name. Yep. Pin code for the ATM. Street you grew up on. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Pet. We'll take uh, your calls and texts and all that tomorrow. For Is It Red? And then on Monday, we're going to start giving away trips for the iHeartRadio Music Festival. I don't know who. they We give away the Gosh. trips, and then they announce who's going to do it. So, so it's, it's that time again. It's so early. It is that time again. It's in September. It's in, it is in September. That's all no, I know. Those are the iHeartRadio. That's the iHeartRadio Music Festival. These are the awards. These are the awards. No. I mean, um, my award. It's... Uh, uh, you and a guest. Two tickets. It's at the Shrine Auditorium in L.A. Round trip air, hotel, ground transport, whole thing. So, 5 o'clock on this show for the next two weeks be your one chance to win on this program, but there's three chances every day. So, prior to the whole thing being announced, we'll get you set up, and then they'll announce, and you'll go, Ooh, boy, I already got myself set up to go out there. That's how that'll go down. I was watching a little uh, Q&A with whoever's running Apple now, and they were talking about Apple famously Apple. likes to have control over... Um, they like to have control over how their products are used in movies and TV shows and things like that. And they famously... Um, they don't want bad guys in movies using iPhones. Really? And so people who make movies are like, well, that's going to kind of give away... Ryan Johnson, who directed uh, Knives Out, mm-hmm. which I just saw, was the guy talking about this because he's like, you know, if you can... Knives Out is kind of a very complex whodunit. There's a lot of characters floating around in this movie. And he's like, if you see somebody holding an iPhone in a movie like that, then you go, oh, well, Apple wouldn't allow a bad guy to use an iPhone. Mm. So I know that's not the murderer. So everyone gets a flip phone. I think that's how they should do it. <clears throat> everyone gets a flip phone. Right. Right. But, I mean, Apple is creating their own content. They're over at Apple TV or whatever. If you're watching the morning show, Steve Carell, he uses an iPhone, and he's a... He's a bad guy. He's a sexual predator Mm -hmm. on that show. He's like a Matt Lauer type. Yeah. A lot of shades of gray, you know. But he's not a murderer. He's not a murderer. But not 50 Mm -hmm. of them. No, he's not a murderer, but (laughs) I mean, you know... That's the name of The Bachelor. 50 strands of gray. 50 strands (laughs) of gray. (laughs) I love that. The Bachelor, (laughs) Yeah, a lot of people are having some thoughts about the um, the Bachelor dating show. They, the mm-hmm. ABC's casting for a 65-plus Bachelor show. Lilith, will you accept this reverse mortgage? <laughs> <laughs> show's going to have to be on daytime television. 
my uh my call brother. it old dirty bachelor <laughs> <laughs> my brother-in-law good. had a funny one he's like they're fighting about politics from 70 years ago they're like i don't know we voted for eisenhower yeah <laughs> <laughs> cool it sucked <laughs> i actually don't like ike <laughs> right. uh, i live through the depression and you're making me more depressed. Personal. Oh, you friend. always throw a red contra in my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's Watch r- silent movies of their day night. <laughs> Would you like to ride off on this hover round with me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's Ryan Johnson talking about those iPhones, by the way. Apple, they let you use iPhones in movies, but and this is very pivotal if you're ever watching a mystery movie, bad guys cannot have iPhones on camera. So, oh, no, every single filmmaker who is, is a bad guy in their movie, it's supposed to be a secret, wants to murder me right now. There you go. Mm. Well, good to know. I, right? That kind of ruined it for me, man, because now I'm going to be like looking out for it. Well, iPhones are so pervasive that it wouldn't even occur to me if this little tidbit hadn't made it into the news. Um, but, yeah, if you're watching a movie like Knives Out, you well, know. Phones look so similar now any way that I don't pay that close attention. I think you're I right. But, uh. But sometimes you, they'll do are a. Are you going to clo- propose to me? No, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I want to just talk about old bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> just rip on old bachelor for the rest of the show. Yeah. Old we dirty did, bachelor. We did a whole show. Old on dirty on bachelor is, is great. Old dirty bachelor. Mark, I love it. I feel like I can see your heartbeat. No, that's my liver spot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can see your heartbeat. You might be able to see her heartbeat. That's why he's. Some Not sexy one pieces when they go to the fantasy suite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let you know I'm not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I have not saved myself. Got a text from Eric. How does Mary feel about living in Hudson? Far away. You know, hey. s- far. Central to everything. Yeah. Who wouldn't love to live in Hudson? The booming comedy scene of Hudson, Ohio. Uh-huh. Is, that even, is that even like halfway between here I don't and Akron? I know where Hudson is. Hudson is, is It's like probably halfway. Akron. Yeah, it's probably halfway. Yeah, but it's like south of It's here. out. Like southeast of it. It's pretty there though, yeah. Yeah, it's real nice. Yeah, it's a nice. Yeah. It's hoity and toity. Oh, Peninsula, Macedonia. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. You could live right in the far. metro park. It's one of those places it that's a pain pretty. in the ass to get to though. Yes. No matter where you it's go. So it takes forever. Yeah. Because there's no like straight way. There's, yeah, there's eight, way there. eight that, different highways. Yeah, it's not like and, a highway exit that takes you to Hudson. You have to like go through Peninsula or whatever, and it's annoying. Again, pretty. Very pretty, once you're there. But I'm going to go ahead and pass. But thank you, Eric. Yeah, I was going to say, Akron rent is so much cheaper. If you're looking at Akron. Akron. At Akron. <laughs> I was going to say, if you're looking at for apartments in Akron, you could live like a king on $1,200 a month. Hmm. Why didn't you stay in Akron? Because I didn't want to. You want to live like a king? No. He wants to live like a queen. I, right. I, w- I wanted to move cl- some, somewhere closer to work. I didn't appreciate that. That's too much of a drive, that, man. That 45-minute commute every day. And then on top of like going out and doing shows after and then having like an hour drive home, I can't do that. That's yeah, I, w- I was driving. I, I'll, I'll never forgive myself for that damn commute because it was ridiculous, especially in rain, sleet, or snow. <laughs> you like postal I, I would, service? I would, I would get done with my class. Yeah, wait, at, delivering letters to I would get done with my class at 1.30. I would sprint to my car, and I would be here by 2.10. Um, that was back when oh, we were I on see. that yeah, three. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, oh, man, if the teacher was like, all right, well, I just want to tell you something. I was like, I don't have time, Miss Petrie. I got to go. <laughs> Miss Petrie. Professor Petrie, I'm out of here. I got bills. They would let me slide. Yeah, because you were pound cake? Well, because they knew. I was like, do I want to take your stupid old class or do I want to have a regular That's what they heard and they would talk to him in class. Mm-hmm. Cody, do you have your homework? All right. What is it? You got to get out of here? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> they speak fluent pound cake, too. Fluent pound cake. <laughs> oh, did he you say don't fluent even speak fluent, fluent pound cake. I heard fluid. I heard fluid. Did he say fluent I pound cake? I said fluent. All right. Just I sure. heard fluent. <sighs> all right. I'm on your side. I heard Thank fluent. Okay. Then again. I, I was just checking. I, but yeah, all I hear, I, I do <laughs> just hear that. So I'm going to go with fluent. I do speak pound it was cake probably, it was, I understand it. was it. confirmation bias, probably. Yeah. I wanted to hear fluent, so I did hear fluent. I think you understand pound cake better than you speak it. Who, me? Yeah. Okay. You said you speak it better than you... Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> I'm all confused. <laughs> 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 Oh. It's like a Morse code. <laughs> yes. <laughs> dot dash dot 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 help. dash. Please dash. send help. <laughs> send help. Dot dash bitch. Hey, hey Pocket. <laughs> dot dash dash bitch bitch bitch. You want to hook up later? Uh, just shoot me your address. 
Uh, okay, so around 9 p.m. then? Uh-huh. Are, you, are your roommates home? <laughs> <laughs> are your roommates home? That's the other thing about having roommates, man. Well, I told you. Can't them. just be naked. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. Yes, Depends you can. on how tight you are oh, with your yeah, roommates. Yeah, I guess you don't care. No. Naked hot tub. I'd, if I got out of the shower naked and like walked to my room naked, he's like, "Ew, hey, boobs." <laughs> All gross well, and, so, well, and some people end up maybe fooling around with their roommate, and then they're like, "That was a bad idea," but whatever. Yeah. I, I, and, I had know, to, I had to fill them you out. Broken the seal. I had to definitely. fill them out before I like went all you know in on living with them just because i i was like i know you're okay with me bringing dudes home but i don't know if you're okay with what i'm about to do yeah <laughs> um so keep it in your room the first, don't do it on my the couch. first couple times i didn't even want to bring them in because our dogs are loud and like i didn't want to we have like a security thing so it beeps when you come through the door <laughs> so i was like just pull up in the driveway like when like i was in college i was like just pull up in the driveway turn your lights off and just wait for me to come out man you know what it's so funny <laughs> and i got oh, he's in the driveway and they were like um were you, did you have a guest over last night? I was like, kinda. <laughs> he didn't get out of his car. And they were like, why? I'm like, well, I didn't know if you would be okay with it yet. They're like, oh, he could come inside. Make him sit yeah, in the can. driveway. All right. <laughs> you want to like, get away. And I was like, now that you're okay with it, now I know. Give him an inch, man. No, one all five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of big D energy, Pete Davidson... Um, John Mulaney is, they go to the well, like maybe when they have a hard time finding, you know. I, th- I feel like the last couple of seasons, if they're like, oh, we need a killer here, they'll bring John Mulaney back. Um, and the promo is him talking to Pete Davidson, except Pete Davidson is like super chill and, and uh, acting like he's not a big screw up. He's like, mm-hmm. oh, I, I can't vape. That would be bad for me, mm-hmm. you know. But he w- goes into public, whatever. And he was uh, saying that he wants to leave Saturday Night Live because he thinks that they make fun of him when he's not there. <laughs> of course they do. Well, they do, do yeah. <laughs> like, That's the thing with Pete Davidson. Like, I like Pete Davidson. I don't like his. I don't know if you've watched his new special. Is not it not yet. good? It's not good. I and the last one wasn't either because you get this vibe like he doesn't really put much into it. Well, yeah, but he's famous, so. Right, but, but you should still want to perfect your put craft. Out of, well, but put it's put not a special. craft to him. Well, he's a stand-up comic. It is a craft. But is he? Is my question. He was before he SNL. Was before yeah, SNL. I guess that's yeah. true. He's a comic. I mean, he's not an improv guy. <clears throat> he had to get that job somehow. Here's the thing: is like I personally think I should be done with that show because they make fun of me on it. Like that's the point? It's a comedy sketch show. No, but like I get it. But like I'm cold open political punchlines. I'm like weekend update jokes. When I'm not there, like they'll be like, huh, huh, huh but pizza jerk face. And you're yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. whose side are you on? I really wanted last year to be my last year. You kind of have no choice but to be self-deprecating, right? Well, that's just my type of like humor, but also like, yeah, you got me because they think I'm dumb. Like I'm literally painted out to be like this big dumb idiot. Like even all my <laughs> sketches are just me being like, okay, sure. You know, so it's just like, I have to. I like his voice, man. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he also, anytime they try and give him anything else to do on the show, any heavy lifting, he botches it. I feel like, like he's, he's not of, He's not a good actor. No, I feel like he's kind of painted himself into that corner. Yeah. And I, as far as, like, his desk pieces, he writes those, and he talks about being a dumb screw-up that's in the news because of who he dates. <laughs> like, so yeah. when, when you're not there for a week because you're working on a movie, and they're like making jokes about you being lost at a there was the the one joke i remember them making about him was about uh the dude that was at the festival and they're like oh he was lost for, he couldn't find his car for a week and it was pete davidson that's a funny joke mm-hmm. yeah it was a good joke and that pete's a stupid jerk face <laughs> um a lot of people are asking me about my new favorite pound cake clip this was a guy in brazil who uh, was making a motorcycle horn. He was imitating a motorcycle horn noise. And when I saw the video, I go, that sounds exactly like pound cake. So it's just a Brazilian guy making, because it's very annoying to people. Mm-hmm. Someone just, oh, yeah. someone just Unfortunate. and complained saying that they drive a truck for a living and they that sound is giving them a heart attack. Unfortunately <laughs> for you, I don't care. I hope you're safe out there, but I'm going to use this a lot. So um, it's This a, is a person making this noise with their mouth. With their mouth, yeah. With their mouth, too. Oh, hell yeah. And it sounds like, hey, man. (laughs) And I understand it's problematic because there are a lot of people that are in traffic, and that's probably something that, you know, might make you a little nervous, but that's what that is. Girl, you making that noise. It's talking to me. Whatever he said, um, that's... Oh, my God! Woo! 
That's the train. Mm-hmm. Right? If you're in a truck, that's going to make you nervous. If you're in a boat, that's going to make you nervous. <laughs> you think? If you're out near a no lighthouse, way. that might make you nervous. Yeah. One for that. <laughs> if you're headed out to the Catalina wine mixer, mm-hmm. that might make you nervous. If you're a cholo, that might make you a little nervous. <laughs> I still think it's hilarious when we go back to work. If you're Tristan Thompson, that might make you nervous. Mm-hmm. If you watch Erica's Polar Blast Punishment years ago when she was, they, you guys had whatever super soaker filled with whatever gross juices. Mm. And when she was cussing during it, Bill just put a bunch of like horn noises while she was mm-hmm. in. She's like, mother. Mm-hmm. Well, that sure. Funny. Yeah, get creative. Horns are funny. Yeah, it was funny instead of mm-hmm. just a bleep. Oh my God. Woo! Now and all I know is I live in kind of a nice area in Akron, and somebody still stole my catalytic converter. I had that happen to me when I was at work a couple years ago. What is kind of a nice area? I don't know anything well, about Akron like other than nice the places area. I've been, which say, are a couple places. A toss up. Well, tell me one. I mean, you can live in a nice area and North, still get robbed. North, I'm just saying North Akron, like where you, all the old... You could be in Pepper Pike and still have someone... Rob your stuff. Not in one of the 50 most luxurious places in the United States, they must, Bill. They, they you think got, I can live there for $600 a month? Probably. You could live in a garage. You're, you're going to be gra- underground by a lot more. <laughs> Pepper Pike. I thought, I thought Hunting Valley was like the, one of the richest towns in Ohio. Don't know. Don't know They're right next is. to each other. Never well, heard of it. You don't go to that side of town. Orange is over there, right? Well, that's Beechwood. I'm just trying to think of the signs that go that way. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Solon, I think, is pretty Gates nice. Gates Mills. Gates I Mills. Hoity toity. Mm hmm. But I don't know those areas. I, I don't get over there that often. Aren't you glad I didn't steal your catalytic converter? It's hard to get over there, man. It's annoying. It's where Vanessa Bayer is from, another SNL alum. She's, yeah. a, she's a, a native of Orange. She's funny. I'm huh. afraid to go over that way. I feel like my car's too raggedy. I look too suspect, and they'll pull me over and beat me. I just found out Bratnall was a place like two years ago. I know. I remember you said that. You, <laughs> you out just found out it was a place. Dennis Rodman. I was like, what the hell are you and, talking and about? Did you say someone was screaming out of their car and was just like, hey, come party with us? And he just like no. party with them. I thought you said he was just getting recognized and then like well, he, he you just ended was. up at a random party. No, we went to a couple different yacht clubs that I also didn't know existed. <laughs> like I was Cleveland like, Cleveland has Cleveland, a yacht club? I was like, Cleveland has a yacht club? And then we went to three yacht clubs. <laughs> I was like, what is happening in this city? <laughs> You're not on the yacht club mailing list. <laughs> yeah, I I'm saying. not. I the, absolutely am not. When you're rich, level. you know but where all the yacht clubs are. Tell me why are. in the 48 hours that I discovered Cleveland had any yacht clubs, I got uppity about him. Like, we went to the one in Bratton, <laughs> and then we went to another one, like, on the west side. I was side, like, and this I was is like, raggedy. Um, no. Like, this is not even close. <laughs> like, being like a brat. I shouldn't have been there I, at all. A friend I used I'm to afraid work. for you when you have money. I'm day drunk <laughs> in an Indian's work. tank yeah. top with no makeup <laughs> on. Just like, this place isn't as nice as the place You were being a real brat and all. No, when I have money I'll still be the same I just want nice things that's all there is to it I want nice stuff and yeah, but I know when that's you annoying. have it I feel like then what then I'll be happy what do you mean nice stuff because <laughs> <laughs> you know stuff always makes you happy <laughs> then I'll be happy <laughs> <laughs> shut up I'm serious <laughs> what are you once I have an, a luxury apartment with a loft this is what I want. I want a loft with a spiral staircase. And a swimming pool. And a pool. And a, a pool table. And that's going to go tub. in the loft. And uh, granite countertops, hardwood floors. You take those granite countertops Stainless granite. steel appliances. Granite countertops. Remember, like, I think it was like December or January when you're like, I, want? I finally got all these things that I wanted and I'm still not happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still live in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have granite so countertops. Think, I don't have granite countertops. Okay, so those are the... Are you shopping for an apartment in the late 90s? What are you talking about? No, all those things Spiral exist. Spiral staircase, granite countertops. <laughs> yeah. And a spiral staircase that uh-huh. goes to my loft that has a pool table, yeah. maybe a den. A comedy den. <laughs> comedy den. <laughs> Sounds like Tom Hanks' apartment in Big. Yeah. <laughs> Am I an eight-year-old? Of big Vision bouncy house and bunk sure. beds. And Actually, that's more like my apartment right now. But what <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, yeah, get out of here, Papa Shot. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not putting all my eggs into the Papa Shot basket. Once I have these things, then I'm I'll saying. be happy. I'm pretty happy. I'm a very, I'm very, where I'm at in my life right now is very good. But I just don't want to live underground, and I think that that's you got those reasonable. subterranean homesick blues, baby. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. You know. So what uh, what what nice things though you're talking about? Like a, a nice apartment. I really want to come come and see your apartment. It's it cute. Can, it, can, it actually is very cute. It's really it's not just, as bad as you no, described. No, you're no, not no, a mole no. person. No. Not living in the ground. I'm in I mean, the she ground. Is, <laughs> but it's a nice, cute little apartment. I, yeah. I picture one of those houses that are built into a hill. <laughs> it just has like one that window would be cute. sticking out. I like that. 
Well, you can Do see we... it on Instagram. You're constantly posting yeah. something from she your apartment. She lives in the Shire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> be in I have this ring I have to return. <laughs> Marry the Hobbit. I mean, I, mean, I kind of did that once already, actually. Not a habit. Huh. I just want a nice apartment. I want a nice apartment. Dildo Baggins over here. Is but you so also want to live in New York. I also want to live in New York. Where you will not have a nice apartment. Well, that's why I need to stay first. underground. Not at first. The longer I stay underground here, the nicer my apartment will be in New York. So you're right? saving up to get above ground in New York. You just yes. live in the subway. Just become a subway performer. But you'll probably have to have roommates rat. there. Yeah. I'm not having roommates. I will not move to New York until I can not have a roommate. Honey, then you will... Don't honey me. You don't know my potential. What about a fireman's pole to the second floor instead okay. of a spiral staircase? You can't have a frown on your face if you're sliding down a fireman's pole. See? Prophetic. Listen, your own I'm words. Gonna prophetic. Find, I'm going to find everything I need for $412 a month. <laughs> and it's going to be amazing. And you guys will be like, where'd you find this hidden gem? I'm like, you never believed in me. You don't get to share in my happiness. $412. The chip you have on your shoulder that uh, about people not believing in you. <laughs> it's the, it's the, the biggest sh- motivator in my life. <laughs> a hidden gem. How would we know about it if it was a hidden gem? Because I will not stop talking about it. I yeah. see. Right, but also, like, if you can find that cheap apartment, good for you. Yeah. You know someone's but died But you don't in believe it. that I can. And I, no, I never said I can't believe. I, I don't <laughs> yeah. believe that you can find a $400 apartment. So it's pretty unlikely. I well, want you, you and Pound Just Cake and wait. everybody else to, um, I want you to get precisely everything you want. Thanks, Alan. Because it forces <laughs> a person to come to grips with who they really are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been doing that. I've been coming to grips with who I really am. Not below ground, you haven't. Yes, I have. Nope. you got to wait no, until you're ground. above ground. Yeah. That's when I realize who I really am. Yes. I've been doing a lot of crying over the last year. That's not because you're below ground. You it's, were crying even before you were below ground. I was crying because I was trying to come to grips with who I am. You're a crier. That's who you are. You see the irony there? You're crying to come mm. to grips with who you are, and things, which is a crier. <laughs> and things aren't going to make you know happy. Who you are. <laughs> <laughs> things will make me happier. Now, I don't even know if things is the right... I want to live in a, a nice, cute apartment. A new, cute apartment. <laughs> I want to be proud of it and like show it off and like, hey, let's come hang out in my place because I have the space. <laughs> but if I had home. a nice place, I could have people come over. <laughs> but you're never home. <laughs> but they could be home. They could be there when you're not there. <laughs> sure. Guys, my place is so awesome. I want you to be there even when I'm not. I think about that with like my family where I'm like, hey, come use my pool or this. If you are a oh, real I estate see. agent, oh, they love this, that when they're like, when hey, strangers we're gonna have a bunch pool. of kids come over to the pool. <laughs> right. You want to be the mistress of ceremonies. Yeah, we're, yes. we're in this nice new fancy apartment complex. And uh, and all 13 of my nieces yes. and nephews that are dirty. <laughs> They're going to come over, go swimming. No. I don't think that's uh, too much to ask. Do I have to, to nice put place. a swimsuit on my uh, niece or can she just, just swim diaper. in diapers? diapers? Just the diaper. Yeah. 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 Hmm. All right. Hey, I got a shot for you to live rent, not you, Mary, the royal you. Live rent free for a year. Downtown Terminal Tower Apartments.